Welcome to video 166 in series 3, and now I'll write the NPC take damage script. Okay, make a new C sharp script and call it NPC underscore take damage. Alright, so for my variables, I'll have three private NPC master, NPC master, public int damage multiplier with a default value of 1, so equal to 1, public bool should remove collider. Inside of set initial references, I'll have npc master is equal to transform.root.getComponent npc master. And it's root, of course, because this uh, script is attached to relevant collider, so the hitbox is one that's separate to the root of the game object of the enemy, or the NPC rather, and same with the head of the NPC, we'll put the script there as well. Okay, so the next method, public void process damage, pass in int damage. So be very careful with the spelling and case here, because remember, we call this method, we use send message, uh, to call this method from the weapon scripts. So just remember to have it match exactly whatever is in those other scripts. Okay, inside of it, int damage to apply is equal to damage times damage multiplier, npc master dot call event, npc deduct health, and pass in damage to apply. Okay, so when an npc dies, then this script and the collider should be removed. Otherwise, uh, it'll continue to detect, and we don't want that kind of behavior happening, so it's important to remove it. So I write another method, void remove this. If should remove collider, then if get component collider is not equal to null, destroy get component collider. If get component rigid body is not equal to null, destroy get component rigid body. Now outside of the if statement, game object dot layer is equal to layer mask dot name to layer default. So and this is so that the AI doesn't keep uh, detecting. So the hitbox isn't going to keep on working and working uh, for if it's not uh, should remove collider. And just be careful with the spelling in the case, of course. It should match the default layer's name in Unity. Finally, destroy this. So this script itself will be removed. Okay, I don't need start and update, so I'll get rid of those. Inside of on enable, I'll have here set initial references call that method npc master dot event npc die plus equal remove this inside of on disable npc master dot event npc die minus equal remove this all right so that is the take damage script it's just like the previous old enemy take damage script i just thought this time i've just rebadged it for the npc and uh, okay so now we can go ahead and uh, put it on the uh, enemy. I will put it on the main game object as well. So let me just put there NPC take damage. All right. And just leave that alone. It doesn't have a collider on the main game object. Okay. And I should uh, expand it as well. So I'll just fully expand that. Because on the uh, head, there is an enemy take damage script, so time to remove that. I'll just use that same value 5, so remove that component, and now add in uh, the uh, NPC take damage script instead, and make that multiplier 5. And now going down, let's go to the uh, hitbox, have a look at that. All right, so this has an enemy take damage with the uh, check there for should remove collider, so get rid of that and put in npc take damage and just check that. All right, so that's uh, it for the uh, npc take damage scripts. Uh, we still have to do other stuff like replace the collision field script. And uh, as you saw as well, there's the uh, ragdoll activation script. We've got to write a new one of that. And once we've done all that and replaced all those scripts, then we can finally get rid of the npc master without throwing up errors when the uh, scene starts. So anyway, hit apply. And, uh, well, actually, in theory, it should work now. I should be able to uh, shoot. I think I would have errors, though. Yes, I can. I can actually shoot at the enemy. And, of course, the ragdoll doesn't activate, so they have actually uh, 
uh, been destroyed here. The enemy has been destroyed. But uh, what's happened is because I don't have the ragdoll activation scripts, so that stuff isn't happening. And yep, there you go, the enemy has been deleted. But the enemy did actually lose their health. They did die. And they just remained in whatever state they were lost in. So, okay, that means we've still got more work to do, of course. We have to write more scripts and uh, keep on working with that. All right, so anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.